All right, quick update. This is not going to be a long video. I just wanted to let everybody know what's going on with the craziness that's been going on behind Wayfinder. If you have been keeping up with this game, then you know that it has been some major issues uh, dealing with the uh, logging into the game, having crashes, people not getting their items from the, uh, from the founders packs that they bought. Well, all of that has been addressed and we got an update today. So we're going to get on over here real quick and I'm going to read off the patch notes to you of what they actually done. So that way y'all can be more informed on what's going on with Wayfinder. All right, so it says, good afternoon and great news, everyone. The software upgrade we have been working on have passed all testing and have already been deployed to active players. We will be purging a small percentage of players from the outdated servers, but all new players will be loading into the new and improved database servers. This upgrade would allow us to push significant improvements to server capacity and take huge chunks out of the login queue. We have also rolled out a client side update which you have to close wayfinder and then update your game which will address many of the missing founder pack item bugs reward tower items claiming numerous crashes and quest progression block bugs additionally we have implemented a queue resume feature for players who disconnect in queue or receive an error at the front of the queue they will have their position saved and they will return to that position as soon as rejoining we are going to continue to push CCU limits this afternoon with the continuous goal of defeating the QQ raid boss, as they've been calling it, once and for all. This is a huge win, and we can't wait for everyone to start entering Evanor in unprecedented levels, the TLDR. So just to get down to the basis of everything that went into this update, increased server capacity is live, increased ability across the board, founders pack and reward tower redemption fixes update your client to do that bug fixes it says see patch notes in the discord but they haven't actually put anything in there yet so there's nothing to see here it's all right here in this particular update uh q resume features to save your place in line if you disconnect from q is live q skip grace period is disconnected if disconnected from in game is on track for tomorrow so um they haven't implemented in if you get disconnected while you're playing to have your uh your place saved or to just skip queue altogether but that is supposed to be implemented tomorrow and then it says heads up we're about to boot about a thousand people next time that they travel in game these people have been playing for a long time and are playing on sold servers that do not have this new provision you will be able to log in as normal once you are disconnected Okay, so from what I've seen in my own uh, experience, um, I was able to actually, I got I logged out on purpose just to see. Uh, I logged back in. It looks like when you go into it now, instead of having like 50,000 people in queue in front of you, it sits more at about 3,000, and that number keeps declining as we uh, go on throughout the day. It may get to a point where you don't actually see a number at all, but at least at this point, it's only taking you maybe five to 10 minutes to get into the game versus it being an hour to get into the game. So uh, just a quick update to let y'all know that, hey, Wayfinder is being fixed. They are trying to implement ways for us to actually get in and enjoy the game for everybody that is in early access. And I am enjoying the game. I have been able to play the game quite a bit. Um, and starting to learn the systems and everything and i'm really enjoying the game but for everybody else that is curious about the game but been hearing the news about it being uh hell for you to get in to even play it or it's crashing and bugs and things of that nature all that's been fixed so now we can get into wayfinder and actually play it i will continue giving updates on this game as i will be playing it uh quite a bit uh on my own and i do stream uh over on twitch so feel free to come over if you got any questions about the game or you're curious about the game come on over man have some fun with us i, I stream every day around 5 30 sometimes uh a little later depending on how my 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 editing day goes um but come on over kick it with us have some fun and on that note y'all keep it cool i'm out of here